Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got a game in Stratomatic using two teams from two of the sets that I recently bought as part of the 2022 Stratomatic baseball purchase that I made. So we are going to do what I think is a pretty interesting matchup. We're going to do the 2021 San Francisco Giants, who won 107 games against the 1947 uh, Brooklyn Dodgers, who were uh, who won 94 games. And uh, I think this will be a pretty interesting matchup. Um, on the mound today, we're not even going to go with the aces on the mound. We're going to go with Logan Webb for the San Francisco Giants and uh, Joe Hatton, I believe. Yes, Joe Hatton for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And so that's going to be the matchup. I'm even using the board that I got as uh, part of the uh, purchase of the 1947 game because that's what I purchased, not just the player cards, but the game and uh, and the dice and the 20-sided uh, die that came with it as part of the game. So um, the only thing that's not, in, in fact, actually the Giants tokens also came with the game. The only thing that isn't, that didn't come with the game uh, that I bought is the uh, Brooklyn Dodger blue uh, tokens and the Yellow token, it's marking the outs. And uh, the chart that I will be using is also the charts that they sent. So we're giving this game a dry run right here. Again, 2021 Giants against the 1947 Brooklyn Dodgers who lost the World Series to the 1947 Yankees. Um, so I think this will be really interesting. Yes. I have remembered that I have not played game seven of my 2005 uh, Stratomatic Baseball Replay, um, ALCS Replay, and we will get back to that at some point this coming week, probably, but for right now, I just wanted to pull this game out. I wanted to give these teams a dry run, and... Uh, you know, we're going to have at it, and even we're going to get a different, we're going to get some looks at some players that... You know, I didn't get a chance to look at in my previous video. So there's Logan Webb's card for the Giants. And again, we play basic side. I always play the basic side. I don't play the advanced, not on the channel anyway. And uh, there is Joe Hatton's card for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And Joe Hatton is the one that's out there right now taking his warm-up tosses and um, finishing up. And as he finishes up, let's go through the Giants uh, lineup. Uh, the first batter will be center fielder Steve, Steven Duggar, and he is a center field two. Uh, the next batter is Crawford, Brandon Crawford. He'll be the shortstop. He's a shortstop one. Chris Bryant will be the third baseman, third base three. Brandon Belt will be at first base. He's a first base one. Buster Posey will be the catcher. He's a catcher one. Uh, Donovan Solano will be the second baseman. He's a second base three. You got Yaz, little Yaz in right field. He's a right field one. Slater, Austin Slater will be the left fielder. He's a one. And Logan Webb is a pitcher three defensive, or a pitcher, what is he defensively? He is a um, uh, three defensively and a batter card six. So, with all that being said, let's get on with the game. First batter is Duggar, and Duggar gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. So he's out. The next batter is Brandon Crawford. He gets a 5-6. And uh, that is a pop-out to shortstop. So that is easily handled. 
And that brings Chris Bryant to the plate, trying to get something going here. He gets a 6-8, and that is a single. So Chris Bryant rips a single to left field, and the Giants have a man on to the plate. Taking his swing, and he gets a 2-8, and that is a double 1-3, single double asterisk. And that is a double, in fact. So now you got runners at second and third with two down and Buster Posey, the catcher who missed the entire 2020 season due to COVID concerns, and he gets a 6-6. Six, six. And that is going to be a line out to the first baseman. He rips it hard, but Jackie Robinson makes the play. And the Giants come up just a little bit short of Dodgers lineup as Logan Webb finishes his warm-ups. You've got Jackie Robinson, the first baseman. Dixie Walker in right field. He's a right field four. Paul Reiser in center. He's a center field three. Pee Wee Reese at shortstop. He's a shortstop two. Carl Ferrillo, left field two. Uh, Bruce Edwards will do the catching today, and he's a catcher one, gold glove quality catcher. Um, then you got uh, Spider Jorgensen at third base. He's third base three. I'm not sure if he played a lot of third base for the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947, but I put him in the lineup just because I like the name Spider Jorgensen. And then you got uh, Eddie Stanky at second base. He's a second base two. And Joe Hatton is a pitcher one defensively with a batting card three. So Jackie Robinson is going to step in against Logan West. And that is a 4-11, which is a walk. So Webb loses him and Robinson takes the walk. And that brings up Dixie Walker. And he gets a 6-5, and that is a strikeout. So Logan Webb strikes him out. There's one down for the Dodgers, and that brings Paul Reiser to the plate. Robinson still dancing around over there at first. And there is a 4-7, which is a fly ball to the right fielder. That's two down. And uh, that brings up Pee Wee Reese. This Dodger team didn't have a lot of power. That's a 4-7 fly ball to right. And uh, that is that is the uh, third out of the inning. And the, Do the Dodgers come away with no runs. And, uh, and only and no hits that particular inning. And so we are going to the top of the second in a 0-0 ball game with Donovan Solano up. And he gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. So he gets whipped. That's the second, I believe, strikeout for um, for the uh, for uh, Joe Hatton. That brings up Little Yaz. Mike Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski gets a 6-3, and that is a ground ball to the pitcher, so Hatton picks up the ball, throws it on to Robinson, and there is two down. And that brings Austin Slater to the plate. And he gets a 2-4, which is a strikeout. So Joe Hatton strikes out two guys in that inning. And the Giants come away with nothing. As we go to the bottom of the second, and Carl Ferrillo is up against Logan Webb for his first time at the plate. And it's a 4-8, which is a strikeout. A lot of strikeouts flying around here now. That's one down, and it brings up Bruce Edwards, the catcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He gets a 5-9, and that's a strikeout. So Webb is trying to match Hatton with two strikeouts, and he actually does in the second inning. 
And that brings Spider Jorgensen, my main man. Spider Jorgensen to the plate, and he gets a 6-10. And that is a fly ball to the center fielder. The center fielder for the Giants, one of the few guys who isn't a 1. He is a 2. And that is a roll of 3, and that's going to be something. That's a 3-2 in the outfield. It's a safe at second on error. So um, that's going to put uh, Jorgensen... On second base, on an E8. And that brings to the plate Eddie Stanky. And that is a 2 8, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he is out. 5 to 3. And the Dodgers, despite having a little bit of a. Uh, uh, well, at least one man on. I mean, they had something going. Come away with nothing, and we go to the top of the third inning. And the leadoff batter for the Giants this inning is going to be Mr. Logan Webb, who has a batting card six. So it'll be interesting to see if the roll is on his card. Does he get a hit? And, and my dice tower keeps fading. Over. And we got a... 6-3, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Hatton picks it up, throws over to Reese or er, to uh, Robinson, and that is going to be one away. Brings up Stephen Duggar. And that is a 6-7, and that is a fly ball to right. With two down, really quickly, you've got uh, Brandon Crawford up. And Brandon Crawford gets a walk. So it's another man on for the Giants. Only their third man, I believe, on base this game. Which brings up Chris Bryant, who was traded in real life in 2021 from the Cubs to the Giants. And he gets a 1-5, which is a walk. And so now the Giants have a little something-something going here. With two guys on and two down. And Brandon Belt up. Brandon Belt, 29 home runs in 2021 with a 274 batting average. And he gets a 2-6, which is a walk. And Joe Hatton has incredibly loaded the bases after getting two quick outs in the inning. And that brings Buster Posey to the plate. And he gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball to center field, and that ends the threat. And just like the Giants let off the uh, third inning with their pitcher batting, so do the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers this in the bottom of the third inning with Joe Hatton batting against Logan Rodgers. And he gets a 5-7 which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and the second baseman for the Dodgers is a 2, and that is a 10. I don't know if that's maybe an on-base chance right there. It is not, so there's one away. So he was out 4-3. Um, to three. We go to the top of the... the uh, uh, line up with Jackie Robinson. And he gets a 6-11, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder, I believe, is a 1 because there are a ton of 1s out there, and he is. And that's a 2, and I don't think that that's an on-base um, ch uh, chance. No, it is not. And so that brings Dixie Walker to the plate with 2 down really quickly. And he gets a 6-9, and that is a strikeout. So the Dodgers get nothing in the third, and after three complete here, we have a scoreless tie between the 2021 Giants and the 1947 Brooklyn Dodgers. Hell of a matchup, and Donovan Solano is coming to the plate in the top of the fourth for the Giants. 
And he gets a 3-4, which is a home run, 1-6, to six, but no, it's actually a double. So he will be, he'll pull in at second base with a double. That brings up Michael Yastrzemski. Yes, little Yaz. Oh, and I lost a dice over here. And he gets a 6-9, which is a ground ball second base C. That moves him, that moves the uh, runner over, Donovan Solano. So that is a um, 4-3. And runner moving to third, and Austin Slater is up with one down. And this is a tight game, but you know what? The Dodgers are not going to bring the infield in. And Slater gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball, shortstop, A. That's two away, but the run does score. And the Giants have a run. They're on the board. And Logan Webb is up at the plate. And he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball, second base, A. And so he is out. He grounds out to Dixie Wa to or no, to Eddie Stanky. And so that is going to be the end of the inning. But the Giants did come away with a run. And they lead it one nothing. They'll have the top of the lineup coming up in the top of the fifth. But for the moment, the Dodgers are behind here. The NL champions of 1947 with Pete Riser. Taking his cuts and getting ready to go here. 6-7 is a single. So Pete Riser gets a base hit. And he's on with nobody out. And Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese getting a 5-10. And that is a catcher card. Posey is a 1, and that is a 10. So let's see what happens there. He's out on dribbler 1. So the runner does advance. There's one down. Pee Wee Reese going... Um, Two to one, or two to three, and Carl Ferrillo up at the plate with one down and a man at second. They're down by a run. They get a six nine. That's going to be a strikeout though. Ferrillo striking out in a key situation for the Dodgers, and Bruce Edwards at the plate. And again, we're fading, fading, fading over. And he gets a 2-8, which is a home run, 1-7, or a fly ball, and it is! It was gone, a home run. Bruce Edwards puts the Dodgers not only on the board, but in the lead. And now Spider Jorgensen's up. And he gets a 6-10, and that is a fly ball to the center fielder. The center fielder is Duggar, and he's a 2, and that's a 3. That's going to be a 2-base error. So Jorgensen gets on again by a 2-base error. Or wait a minute. Yes, he did. In fact, he got on the last time by an error by um, the center fielder, Duggar. So he's been on twice. Thanks to Duggar, and now Eddie Stanky is at the plate. And he gets a 5-9, and that is a strikeout. So the Dodgers strike for two in the bottom of the fourth. The fourth inning, coming into the fourth, it was a scoreless game, and now all of a sudden, it is a 2-1 to -one game as both teams have managed to score in this particular inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Again, as I said, we are at the top of the Giants lineup with Steven Duggar, who has made two, two uh, errors today, one of them very critical. And he gets a strikeout. He is struck out by Joe Hatton. 
That brings Brandon Crawford to the plate. He gets a 5-7. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the um, for the Dodgers is a 2. And that is an 18. I don't know. That may be a roll again, actually. And it is. And that's a 16. And that might be something. It is. It's a one base error. So Brandon Crawford is aboard with an error by the second baseman, Stanky. So one on, one out, and Chris Bryant up. Not what the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers really wanted to see happen. And at the three six, which is a double one to three or a single double asterisk, and it really is a single. So runners are at the corners. And that brings up Brandon Belt. The big belting home run first baseman, 29 home runs. And he gets a 5-8. And that's a double 1-8 to eight or a single. And it is a single double asterisk. And a run comes in. One run is in. And Buster Posey's up. The Dodgers will keep the infield back. And that is a 3-2, which is a fly ball A. So that advances the runner to second and brings the run home. And the Giants have struck for two and take the lead now. And then Donovan Solano up at the plate. And that is a 5-11. And that is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a pitcher one. And that is a seven. Let's see what happens on that. Oh, wait a minute. I was on the right side. Probably, no, it's a one base error. So now the Dodgers are playing some sloppy baseball and it's gonna, it, it may cost them even more runs. Yaz is up. Runners at the corners. There is two down. So let's get that right. And that is a 211, which is a ground ball, second base, a plus injury. And uh, the roll is a three, so he's only temporarily injured and he remains in the game. Yaz will remain in the game, but he did not get the run, another an additional run home. So. The Giants do strike for two in the fifth, and we go to the bottom of the fifth with the Giants leading three to two. And uh, up at the up at the plate is the leadoff man is uh, Joe Hatton. They'll let him back. He hasn't pitched that poorly yet, and he gets a ground ball to the shortstop, and he is out. That brings Jackie Robinson up. And he gets a 5-6, which is a single one to 17, and it is, in fact, a single. Or, yeah, so let's, let's get these guys off the bases. Don't want to confuse me any more than I could be. Dixie Walker's up with Robinson aboard at first. And Robinson is going to try to steal. So let me just roll the die and see what happens there. No, he's gunned. He is gunned out. Robinson trying to steal second. They were trying to sneak one in, and it didn't work. And so now Dixie Walker is up with two down. And that is a 6-5, which is um, a strikeout. So they tried to get Robinson to steal second, and it didn't work in this particular case. And so now the San Francisco Giants of 2021 have a 3-2 lead as we go to the top of the sixth inning. Austin Slater, he gets a 4-7, which is a walk. I believe it is, yes. So Hatton has a little, he has, he's been having some control issues here, uh, this, uh, this particular game. 
and that'll bring up um, the pitcher Logan Webb and they're going to sacrifice and that is an eight on the sacrifice probably moves him over batter is throwing first baseman runners advance one so that is one down so that was a sacrifice moves a runner to second and up steps Steven Duggar yeah and that is a 4-7 which is a walk so the control problems continue to be a bugaboo here for Joe Hatton and up steps Brandon Crawford, the shortstop. Two on and one out, and he gets a 4-5. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. And their shortstop is a 2, and that is an 11. 11 and 2 at short is a double play, and they are out of the inning. And they did not get a run, I do not believe, so... They were threatening, and all the runners on base, you can't blame them. But you got Riser, um, Pete Riser batting for Brooklyn here. Um, let's see, the Giants got nothing in the sixth. In the bottom of the sixth. So yeah, Pete Riser is the batter. He gets a 5-7 which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Giants is a three. And that is an 18. That might be a roll again, maybe. It is indeed a roll again. And that's a 10. 10 and three at second base is a one base error. Solano making the error now and letting Riser get on in the bottom of the sixth. So that's going to be an E4, and there are no outs with a man on and Pee Wee Reese up at the plate. And he gets a 1-5, which is a single. They're going to go station to station because they're confident in their uh, team's lineup. And Carl Ferrillo is up. Carl Ferrillo gets a 4-3, and that is a, is a fly ball to the right fielder. That's Yaz. He's a one. That's going to definitely be an out. And I don't think anybody advances on it either. They don't. So there is one away. Fly out. And up steps Bruce Edwards. And that is a 4-7. And that is a fly ball to the right fielder. Two away. Bruce Edwards gave them uh, their, a lead back in the fourth, but he gets out there, and Spider Jorgensen is up at the plate with two down and two on, and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. Some action in the San Francisco bullpen. All right, Dominic Leone is up in the San Francisco bullpen, but right now the San Francisco Giants are batting in the top of the seventh inning with Chris Bryant at the plate. And that is going to be a 2-7, which is a strikeout. So Chris Bryant strikes out. Brings up Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt gets a 3-9. That is a strikeout. Two away. So Hatton retires the first two guys by striking them out. Doesn't even let it play into his defense's hands, which is probably a good choice on his part. And Buster Posey is up, and he gets a 4-8, and that is a walk. 
the Bugaboo Walk, which brings up Donovan Solano with a man on and two down. Luckily, he has two down and only one guy at first base. And that is a 1-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He throws him out, 6-3. And the, um, the Giants come away with nothing. A relief pitcher for Webb. And that is going to be Dominic Leone is coming in for the San Francisco Giants. And there is some activity. We can see some activity down in the Brooklyn pen. Hey, okay, looks like Clyde King is down there warming up for the Brooklyn Dodgers. But right now the Brooklyn Dodgers are batting against Dominic Leone. And they are putting Eddie Stanky up at the plate. He gets a 6-3. That is a fly ball to the right fielder. And that he is a 1. And that's a 15. So he's out. Stanky retired in the seventh, and that brings up the pitcher, Joe Hatton, and they will pinch hit for Joe Hatton. Hitter for Joe Hatton is going to be Archie Vaughn. Hall of Famer, Archie Vaughn, pinch hitting. And that is going to be a 4-7. And that is a single 1-2, to two, and it is not. So that turns out to be a line out to first base. Vaughn is retired. And that brings Jackie Robinson to the play. And he gets 5-6, which is a strikeout. So we're going to the bottom of the, or with the top of the eighth. And the um, the Dodgers scored nothing in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth, and the new pitcher is coming in for the Brooklyn Dodgers, and that is Clyde King. And the first batter that he is going to face is Mike Yastrzemski. Here in the um, in the eighth inning, and he gets a two-four, which is a walk. So, even though Hatton is out of the game, they, the Dodgers pitching continues to walk Giants batters. And now you've got Austin Slater up. Austin Slater gets a five-six. That is a fly ball to right. And that brings um, Dominic Leone, the pitcher, up to the plate. And they will actually pinch hit for him. Darren Ruff is going to pinch hit for the Giants. And getting up in the bullpen is Jarlin Garcia. And he gets a 4-8 on Clyde King's card. It's a line out to shortstop. And so he is retired. And with two down quickly, that brings Steven Duggar back to the top of the lineup with Steven Duggar. And he gets a 3-7, which is a double one to eight or a single, and it is actually going to be a single. And that's going to be two men on. They're going to stop him at second and Brandon Crawford at the plate. Two down. And um, and uh, and two on. And Crawford gets a six nine, which is a um, walk, and that loads the bases up. So the walk has been a pretty big enemy of the Brooklyn Dodgers here today. And with the bases full and two down, Chris Bryant's up. And he gets a 5-5, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Bryant does get the K. 
and end the inning. And no, and Dixie Walker is going to be up in the bottom of the eighth. And the new pitcher for San Francisco will be Jarlin Garcia because they pinch hit for Dominic Leone at the uh, in the top of the eighth inning. Yes, and so. Dixie Walker up. He gets a 3-5, and that's a double one to nine, and it is a single, actually. Dixie Walker with a leadoff hit in the eighth to greet Jarlin Garcia. And Paul Reiser is up. Paul Reiser gets a 2-5. That's a double one to 17, and it is, in fact, a double. And so now... The Giants have to bring the infield in because at this point, they don't want this game getting tied up. Um, if they can help it, Pee Wee Reese is at the plate. He gets a 6-3. That is a ground ball to the first baseman. And that is going to be um, Belt. And he's a 1. And that's a 19. So let's see what that is. 19 and 1 is a roll again. And that's a four and a one, and that is an out. Infield was in, so no run comes across. And with one down now, and runners at second and third, you've got Carl Ferrillo up. And the infield will still be in for the Giants. And that's a 6-11, and that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is a 1, and that is a 13. Let's see what happened on that fly ball. 13-1, out 4, and that is runner's hold. So that was only a shallow fly to left, and they might be the Dodgers might blow it right here. Now there's two down. Of course the infield would be back now. And Bruce Edwards at the plate. And he gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. So the Dodgers blew a golden opportunity right there to at least tie the game, you would think. And they didn't do it. And so we go to the top of the ninth with Brandon Belt up against Clyde King. And that's a 4-9, which is a shortstop. And he is a, let's see. He is a 2, and that is an 11. 11 and 2 at short. That is an out. So Belt is out. Here in the ninth, 6 to 3. And that brings Buster Posey to the plate. He gets a 5 8. That is a pop out to thirds. <coughs> so Posey is retired. And with two down quickly, that brings up Donovan Solano, the second baseman. And he hits a 4-8, and that's a line out to short. So the Giants don't score any additional runs. He is still out there, and there is no action in the uh, San Francisco pen with Spider Jorgensen up at the plate. And he gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball to third base. Up steps Eddie Stanky. And then you will have the pitcher spot after this, who they will definitely pinch hit for. 1-9, that's a walk. So Stanky gets aboard with a walk. And there will be a pinch hitter for the Giants. And we're back, and I believe I said there would be a pinch hitter for the Giants. It's not. It's obviously for the Dodgers, and that's going to be Gene Hermansky. Gene Hermansky gets a 5-4, which is a catcher card X. He is a 1, and that is a 7. 7-1 seven and one is an out on dribbler. So it does move the runner over to second, but um, they need to bring him in. They need to see if they can bring him in. Um, quickly. <clears throat> and Jackie Robinson is up at the plate to try to do that. 
and he gets a 111, which is a single, and they have got to see what that running rating is on a guy that's aboard. It's Stanky. Got to believe he's a good runner. He's a 1 to 13, and I would re roll the die because that's a decision that has to be made. 1 to 13, I and well, wait a minute. We have to figure out what the um, outfield arm is. Um, in left, that's Slater. And he has a negative one arm, so it would be a 1 to 12. They're going to do it because they don't have a lot of faith. And he just barely gets in under the tag and ties the game. And now Dixie Walker is up with a man on first, two down, and we have a tie game. And Dixie Walker gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. Garland, um, Jarlin Garcia blows it, though. And now Clyde King is... Um, Clyde King cannot be the pitcher right now because we pinch hit for him. Hugh Casey is coming in for the Brooklyn Dodgers, and he'll face Mike Yastrzemski here in the 10th inning. And he gets a 5-9, and that's a strikeout. Up steps Austin Slater <clears throat> with one down, no on. He gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. So Casey comes in and quickly um, takes down the first two batters he faces. <clears throat> and that brings up the pitcher spot. And they will be the new batter. Pinch hitting for the pitcher. And warming up in the bullpen is Jose Alvarez. For the Giants. And that is a 6-9. And that is a home run 1-13. It's gone. Longoria with a pinch hit home run. That's just crazy talk. So Longoria gives the Giants another lead yet again. And with two down and nobody on, and the Giants ahead by one, Steven Duggar is up at the plate. And he gets a 111, which is a ground ball to shortstop. So he grounds out to the shortstop, but the Giants come up with a run. Now can they hold it this time? They failed to hold the lead in the ninth, in the bottom of the ninth. Let's see if they can hold it in the bottom of the tenth um, with... Uh, the pitcher is now going to be Jose Alvarez for the Giants. And Pete Reiser is going to be the batter. He gets a 1-9. That's a walk. So things not starting off real well here in the 10th for the uh, Giants. As Reiser gets aboard. And Pee Wee Reese up at the plate. I'm going to re-roll that. And that is a 5-10. And 5-10 is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 1. And that is an 11, though. That is probably an error on Crawford. Is it? Indeed it is. A one-base error on Brandon Crawford. That is incredible. You hit the ball to a 1, and he makes an error. And so now you got two runners on with Carl Ferrillo up. There's no outs. And that is a 5-10. That is, I think, the same thing. Shortstop, and he's a 1. And that's an 11. It's two consecutive errors by Brandon Crawford. That is just crazy, crazy, crazy. So now you got the bases loaded. The Giants have to bring the infield in. I mean, you know, they have to. And Bruce Edwards is up at the plate. 
And he gets a 3-6, which is a single one to 19, and he does rip a one-base single and tie the game. But the Giants are still in trouble here because the bases are still loaded and there's still no one out. And Spider Jorgensen up. And the Spider-Man gets a walk. And that is a walk-off walk for the, for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And they win this game in the bottom of the 10th by the score of 4-5. to five. That, is, that was one crazy good game, folks. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.